Poker Face is the television debut of director Ryan Johnson starring Natasha Leone. Let's see if this Peacock series is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Peacock. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Natasha Leon plays Charlie, who has an extraordinary ability to determine when someone is lying. She hits the road with her Plymouth, and with every stop encounters a new cast of characters and strange crimes she can't help but solve. Poker Face is a 10-episode Mystery of the Week series. This is from creator, writer, director, executive producer Ryan Johnson and has a star studded cast starring alongside Natasha Leone. Each week, new characters are introduced starring Adrian Brody, Benjamin Bratt, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Hung Chow, Jamila Jamal, Ron Perlman, Rhea Perlman, Tim Meadows, Nick Nolte, Lil Rel Howery, and so many more. Each week, Natasha Leone's character, Charlie, encounters a new set of characters, and there is a murder in the beginning of the episode, and we see how she is able to solve it using her ability to see when people are lying. I was really surprised with the structure of these episodes because the first 15, 20 minutes are dedicated to the characters, not Natasha Leone. We see everything that happens from who is the murderer to the motivations to them hiding everything we see all that pan out right in front of us within the first like 15 20 minutes so there is no surprises when it comes to natasha leone's character trying to figure out who is the murderer but luckily each episode is still really entertaining to watch and that's all due to natasha leone because like i said there is no surprises so what's the point of continuing to watch it when you already know who the murderer is and what the motivations were? But what's so fun about watching this series is how Charlie is able to interact with the cast. She is a likable character and seeing how she's able to use her ability to figure out who the murderer is. And the dialogue given to her and the conversation she has between people it's so entertaining and i was happy with that first episode and i watched it and i was and i watched that first episode and i was realizing that they already showed me who killed the person and how am i supposed to go from here if we're gonna have to go kind of backwards with the case and watch charlie try to solve it and i thought that might be a problem later on if we already kind of got everything in the first 20 minutes or so but it's so fun to watch her interact with the cast and use her ability and then try to solve everything on her own. You want her to solve it and you know she will, but you know all the pieces to the puzzle and watching how she comes to those pieces and puts them together, that's the best part of the series. Now the stellar supporting cast is great in here. Each person either plays a victim or a murderer within the show and seeing all these different characters come in and how they interact with Natasha Leon. I love the supporting cast from Adrian Brody in the first episode to Jamila Jamal in the sixth episode. There is so many different characters involved in here and I loved seeing how they were used in each episode. Now the series has a lot of humor in it as well. Some dark humor and some humor from Natasha Leone. Natasha Leone has this personality to her that's so likable and other shows that she's been on and movies as well like Russian Doll there's just something about her that there's something about her that just makes you want to watch everything she's in and here her energy her chemistry with everybody makes it for the pacing to be so quick the episodes are about an hour long there are some episodes that are a little bit shorter about 45 minutes but I didn't ever feel like the show dragged at all. Despite her not being within like the first 20 minutes of the episodes and after the person is killed, she is introduced later on and we kind of have to work backwards to where we were at the beginning. Her role, her presence in the series 
is so fun and that pacing is so quick due to her because of the way she interacts with the cast, the dialogue given to her, the conversations, everything is just moving so fast and so fun and she has this presence that is so likable in here. And I love Natasha Leon. I love what she's done before in other projects, but this one, we're able to kind of see a personality come out from this character and an understanding of who she really is as she takes on these different jobs and has different conversations. And we learn some more, we learn more about this character and she's on the run from something from the first episode. And that plays throughout the series. And so there's a lot of development for who she is when she's trying to connect with the characters throughout the 10 episodes. It's beautifully directed as well. It's really stuck in one location since it is a murder mystery for Natasha Leone and how she's trying to solve it. It's not exploring a lot of different locations. So they really utilize one central location if it's a rest stop or if it's a retirement home, or if it's a band on stage, different locations are used in here. And I didn't like, I liked how it wasn't like the same thing for each episode. We didn't get like the same theme or same group of people. Everything changed throughout these episodes. I was really impressed with Poker Face and what Ryan Johnson was able to do with it. You get his flair of murder mystery like he's done with Knives Out. It's not as funny as the Knives Out films, but I love how it was set up and how Natasha Leone was involved in the later half of these episodes. I was really surprised with that structure and I didn't think it was going to pay off, but it did and it worked. So 10 episodes of Poker Face, the four episodes are released now on Peacock and then new one each week, but new characters every single time, new stories, a new murder involved, but we see Charlie try to solve everything throughout these episodes. So before I give you my score for Poker Face on Peacock, make sure to check out my channel here. I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Poker Face a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my view for Poker Face on Peacock. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watchers Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.